them because you know it's gonna it's gonna motivate us to win this game to get to the Rose Bowl. We get to the Rose Bowl now. I mean, we get to the Rose Bowl this year. It's gonna it's gonna mean everything. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, John, you know, uh, people people call, call me like a prophet because what you said back at the Stanford game, you said we are going to meet him again and everything. Right. Uh, is it kind of weird that's happening right now? Um, no, it's not weird. It's just uh, I knew how our team would work, how hard we would work, how, uh, how our coaches would push us and strain us. Um, you know, we're here now. We just got to execute. You know, as a JC transfer, you obviously came in with a certain set of expectations. Right. Um, are you surprised at where you're at right now or that's exactly what you pictured? Um, no, I'm not surprised. Like I said before, you know, the coach is going to do a tremendous job of getting me prepared for each week. So I'm not really surprised, but um, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm really not satisfied at all. Is there like one skill you look back to, like back in August, that's like 10 times better now in December? Oh, I, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. I, uh, I thought I knew it all before I got out here. You know, I came out here and I, uh, I was humble. Was, was it one specific skill that you think you're doing much better now compared to August? Um, it's everything, pretty much everything. Um, and it's only I got got time here, you know, got years to come that it's going to get better. Was it really hard uh, that stretch of games where we're not 100 percent healthy to go ahead and go through that rough, rough oh. patch and play at a high level again? Oh, most definitely. It was uh, pretty challenging, pretty rough. But you know, uh, coaches and trainers, you know, Coach Graham kept me um, kept me grounded and you know motivated me to come back stronger. Kind of here a little bit late, just talking about the Stanford game. It's exciting. Everybody's talking about it. How do you guys uh, get your mindset as you get ready for this big, big match? Um, you know, those, those guys are disciplined. They're gonna work hard today when they go to practice today. So, uh, you know, we gotta we got two practices left after today, and we just gotta work hard. You know, we gotta outwork them this week. You know, the teams that they that they beat, you know, they outwork them. We can't let that happen to us. I think it kind of helps you been like in like like in this big game mode the last couple of weeks, UCLA, Territorial Cup. Does that help you with your mindset and your preparation for such a big game this week? Oh, most definitely. We knew that down, coming down the stretch that these games would, would mean a lot, you know, even the, the Territorial Cup as well. You know, that was like a, a championship game, you know, mentality. Uh, now these, these next two games, you know, hopefully the Rose Bowl to come will be a championship mentality. You were quoted after the first Stanford game. We would see you again. What, why, what, what, what that game that uh, you thought that, Guys were, see one for a time. Um, you know, just just I knew we we wouldn't we wouldn't you know allow that to happen again to us. I knew uh, every game from then on, you know, we would work hard. Even in the Notre Dame game, you know, it came down to the wire. We fought back. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. But um, now down the stretch, I, uh, I believe that you know we can't be beat. You know, if we work hard and we have 100% balls to carry. I don't think we can be beat. What's the biggest challenge about facing a team twice in one season? Um. Biggest challenge is you know not letting the mistakes that that you know came then happen again. That's the biggest challenge. Do you think that there's a benefit in that where it's uh, not necessarily easier to prepare for them, but you could be maybe more well prepared since you've already kind of been through? Um, it's not no, it's not really because they could be a complete different team than they than they were then as well. They could they could be a way better team than they were then as well. So. Um, we got to come in and treat it like this, uh, another opponent, and we got to work hard. Talk I feel about like what that was. Their defense does so well. Um, defense, they're very disciplined. They play very physical. Um, and the, those guys fight, play after play after play. They fight. They don't give up. I remember you had a really big second half against them. Uh, it was kind of your coming out party. What, what do you remember about that? Um, just going up, making plays, trying to get, get my team back in the, um, in the game. Um, you know, I mentioned before I had a lot of mistakes that game, though. So um, I could have, I could have done way better in that game. I had a few drops. You know, I couldn't, can't have that happen this week. Um, gotta go out there ready to play. Do you feel like you're 100% healthy now? Um, I'm 100%. <laughs> Can you look at uh, what DJ did last week and just, uh, you know, was that able, was able to show everyone that he's, you know, able to carry that load? Just talk about, you know, what he was able to do and stuff like Oh, well, we knew all along. You know, we, it, was, it wasn't nothing new to us. I mean, nothing new to the team. We knew all along DJ would come in and uh, make plays, and you know, that's what he does. He makes plays. Jalen, what are your reflections on the first Stanford game and uh, the keys to getting them in the rematch in your opinion? Um, you know, just us, you know, coming out slow. The sluggers, the whole first half. We had we turned the ball over four or five times the first half. Um, we had a lot of pen, we, we had a lot of mistakes, not very much penalties. We had a, you know, defense. Their defense, you know, came in, came ready to play while our offense wasn't ready to play. You know, we came out in the second half. Actually, we came out in the fourth quarter strong. Um, we didn't really come out in the third quarter strong as we should have, but we came out fourth quarter strong. And if we'd have had that. Throughout the whole game, man, we probably should have won that game.
I'm confident.